What's up, everybody? My name is Emily Jean. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Today's a very exciting video. We are going to do a custom wedding tap dance shoe update. So what's crazy about this is that it's been like a year process, but our designer is taking like every little thing that I just know that like when we both get our shoes, they're going to be so perfect. Um, and we've gone through several different versions of designs and fabrics and leathers and style and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to share with you guys the update. So I'm going to give a little brief um, explanation of the like concept design and the different sort of designs that we've gone through. And then I just got something really exciting in the mail. It's a mock-up of my shoe. So it's just what the like shape is. This is not like the color or anything like that, but the shape and the little details. Um, so I could try it on because there isn't a shoe that's like this. So she wanted me to be able to try it on and make sure that it's the right fit before we go into production. But we're officially in production, which is very exciting. So before I go into everything, hit that subscribe button because it'll really support my channel. Okay. Let me pull up. I'm going to put it here so you can look at it, but I'm going to pull it up on my phone so we can talk about the inspirations and the designs. Okay, here's a picture of my inspiration for the design of my shoe. So on the top where it's like that white and red shoe, that's the style that the shoe is going to be. That like, you know, Oxford, it's a shorter heel, like a Fred and Ginger shoe, as opposed to like a really high, high heel, like my sparkly ones. I wanted something lower heel. Um, we're taking the pattern from my dress and we're going to use that as the inspiration for the stippling all over the shoe. I was going to do a lace overlay, but it was going to get really complicated and I couldn't get my lace and then I couldn't find a lace that was similar. So we kind of just scrapped that whole idea and we redesigned the shoe. Um, the color inspiration. So it's going to be on the bottom here, the baby blue color. And then the pink and white shoe, that white color is one of the colors that we're gonna use. And I don't know if you can see in the pink, there's like gold piping. We're gonna do silver piping. And then that flower there is my mom's hyacinth and that's gonna be embroidered into the side of the right shoe. So not both of them, just the right one. So this was the inspiration for the design. The next picture I'm gonna show you is um, design number one for the shoe. So this is design number one for the shoe. Um, I'm gonna zoom in for you. Uh, I don't know if you can see on the front, we had all of those flowers. That was gonna be the lace overlay and that was gonna be kind of like all over the shoe. Um, but obviously we're not going with that. So she changed the design to add and incorporate like stippling and I'll show you because the stippling's on the shoe that she sent me. So I'll show you what that means. So, um, and then these were also the original colors. It was a darker blue, a gold, uh, for the piping and that um, eggshelly, like soft white cream color. Um, we changed all that as well. <laughs> so here is the final design for my version of my shoes. So um, it's, it almost looks like a glass slipper. So as you can see, we have the wing tip and that's gonna be all stippled, which means they punch little holes into it. That's gonna be baby blue. The majority of the shoe is gonna be that soft, whitish, ivory, shimmery color. It's gonna be silver piping. So all around the front where the laces are and around my ankle is gonna be that baby blue color with silver coming through. The, uh, as you can see, we've got the embroidered flower and then there's gonna be blue going down the bottom and then the rest of the shoe is gonna be that white, pale ivory color um, with uh, silver piping. And then I'll show you a picture of the colors. Here are the colors. So it's a sky blue. It's gonna be um, that nice white color and then silver. And then um, she just sent me in the mail, which is so exciting, a version of the shoe for me to try on. So let me show you. Okay, so she just had them make this. It's red, my shoe is not gonna be red, but this is like what the style is and like this is not a stock shoe that you can just go and buy and try on. <gasps> Okay, so here's the style of the shoe. As you can see, it's a shorter heel. There is gonna be a buildup here. So it's like a nice thick sound with the taps on the bottom, but they don't have the taps on the bottom yet. I was thinking more Fred and Ginger than like showgirl high heel shoe. Um, Cause I know that I'll be able to dance in this all the time. Sometimes when you dance in heels, your feet hurt a lot. So here's the style of the shoe. It's got that pointed toe. And then if we go in, you can see um, the wing tip with all the stippling. 
so like there'll be silver underneath that and that'll all pop through um obviously these are not the full details that my shoe is going to have there's going to be some more but this is just sort of the inspiration for all of that obviously mine's going to have all piping there's going to be more stippling down here there's going to be the embroider on there and it's going to go down the heel as well in terms of coloring but we wanted to try it on so i tried it on it's a perfect fit this is the update on my shoe and then i have to send this back to her but yeah so she said that everything's in production and we should get them in a um, couple months which is so exciting because we also want to be able to practice in them before we do our first dance if you don't know if this is your first time watching my show i'm getting married my show my youtube channel i'm getting married and my fiance and i are both tap dancers and for our first dance we are going to do a fred and ginger style tap dance for our first dance which is why um this is so special to like commemorate our wedding with custom tap shoes that we'll have forever and we'll wear forever so that's the update on my shoe let's give you the update on john's shoe so john's shoe the design hasn't really changed what changed is the material here's the inspiration for john's shoes so i mean he's had several tap shoes made so <laughs> um but this is his inspiration he was looking for texture he was looking for that wing tip lots of stippling um sort of pattern with the shoe um not a toe cap which means it's a flat toe um he wanted that nice wingtip toe so here is his design um his oh uh, i guess we can do first design second design so here's his first design his first design had a toe cap which as you can see it's rounded with all of that stitching and he wanted it to be a wingtip so we kept this design but we changed the front of the shoe and we can see we have that um he's gonna do like a patent leather like a gray patent leather um, okay, here is the picture of his final design. So as you can see, he's got the wingtip too, tons of stippling, tons of stitching. He's also gonna have stitching going down the back of the shoe, like the heel cap, which is really exciting, with a double build, a natural double build, and then his colors. So originally we were gonna go with this like uh, animal print kind of thing, but they don't have that anymore. So we're gonna do the lead color, charcoal, there's going to be a section of the patent leather gray. And then this is the final like majority of the shoe. This like, cool textured black and gray. Um, we fell in love with it. She sent us a, a sample of it and it's perfect. Um, it's perfect. Yeah, so he's absolutely in love with his. We're so excited to see his. His is in production as well. Um, so that is the update on the shoes. We're going to do a full um, double unboxing together when we actually get them. Um, we're so excited. Yolene has been amazing. If you're ever interested in getting custom Capizio, uh, either K360s or high heels um, tap shoes, I would definitely recommend heading over to Capizio. As for Yolene, she's an amazing designer. She has worked so hard on these shoes and like every like, curveball that we've thrown at her of design changes she's been amazing so we're so grateful we can't wait to get them and wear them and we're getting close to the wedding we're about eight and a half months away which is super exciting i'm so glad that you guys are all following along on this wedding planning journey i'm gonna keep you posted as we sort of roll through and we're getting we're getting to the big event which is really exciting i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions drop a comment down below let me know your thoughts or questions about tap shoes in general um i hope you guys enjoyed this video before you go hit that subscribe button because it'll really support my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video